Hey, this is Mikey, and I want to take you on a tour through my brand new preset pack called Charts and Graphs. I'm going to take you through each of the five presets, what they are and how to use them, and some cool things you can do. So first off, these, this is a preset pack. There's five of them. Bar graphs, line graphs, pie charts, tables, and Venn diagrams. After the, you download the product, you just simply stick it into your presets folder, and it'll show up after you refresh this. Of course, you got to come down here and refresh list. Um, or if you hadn't opened up After Effects yet, it'll show up here in your After Effects presets. You can just search charts and graphs, and there it is. This is built for After Effects CC and above. If you have After Effects CS6, it will still work with one little caveat. It will give you a little warning, and then right here, this is not the same thing, but there, there's a custom controller. This says Long Shadows, but it'll say Missing next to it. Everything will still work fine. The only thing is it'll just have the word missing up there. That's that's all there is. So other than that, CC, everything works fine. So let's go through these one at a time, what they are and how to use them. So let's start with bar graphs. I have to just simply make sure nothing's selected. Just double click and it creates this bar graph. I've got these custom controllers. So there's setup, bar height, and bar color. So the amount of bars, one through seven, that's pretty self-explanatory. If I come in here and give it a five, well then now it's got five. The bar width is how wide the bars are. The spread is how far apart the bars are from each other. I can turn on and off the graph lines. I can change the color of the graph lines. There's a stroke around the bars I can turn on and off or change the size. I can change the color as well. So a lot of customizations you can do to this. And then right here there's this max amount. And so right now it's set at 1000. It's graphing as this is 0 and this is 1000. So you can see on my bar heights I got 50, 100, all the way up to 350. Let's bring this back up to 7. And so <clears throat> right here this is representing 350. If I want to have this as a scale from 0 to, say, 500, well, I can come in here and change this max amount to 500. And then now this is what it looks like from 0 to 500. So it's a handy little feature to you know change the way your graphs look. I can then come in here and change the bar height. Pretty slick. And then the bar color. So some cool things you can do with this, since these are shape layers, if you are using ray trace 3d you can turn these all 3d and let's take a look at that let's turn off this graph and let's bring the spread closer together now let's change this to 3d so i'm going to go into my composition settings make sure it's on ray trace 3d and i'm going to take the shape layer turn it 3d now when i come into the geometry options i can extrude this and you can see it's 3D. Let's add a light just so we can have a little bit of shading. Let's add a camera. So pretty neat. You can create these 3D bar graphs since these are shape layers. So that's bar graphs. But of course, if you don't want everything 3D, you can just keep it two dimensions and it still looks pretty good. Next, let's go to line graphs. So here's the line graph, uh, similar controls. With the 1 to 7, the spread, which is going to be the how far apart these dots are, uh, the line width. And you can see that these joints are automatically scaling with the line width. And then the joint size is how much more beyond the line width they are. So if you want them to be even, you just have it down to 0. Um, whether or not the graph is visible. And uh, my personal favorite, this right on. And so this is set at 100, but I can take it down to 0 and it will write on the graph. And then as I come into this position and I change where each of these are. Doesn't matter, it's still going to write it on the same way. There's limited color controls with this because there's not as many things you can color, but we can color the line, the joints, and the graphs all separately. So that is line graphs. Let's take a look at pie charts. Pie charts is probably one of my favorites. 
there's a lot of functionality I've stuck into this. So let's come here and look. We've got all the different slices, the percentages, and you'll notice there's seven slices, but there's only six controls. And what I've done is the seventh slice will automatically um, just take up the remainder of what's left. So you don't have to um, do any math to add, make sure all these add up right. I can come in, I can change all the colors of these. Fairly simple. Scale. Say I want to highlight a certain uh, piece of the pie. Well, I can scale that out. It's pretty cool. I can also bring that down to zero, and now there's a piece missing. Next is display. And what the display is, is since these um, slices automatically kind of calculate, and as you see, it, as I bring this around, the other ones are getting eaten up by this big gray Pac-Man. But the slice, it still says it's at 10%. That still says 21. Um, but in reality, that 10 is at 9, and these are all at 0. So this, this display is showing out the actual readout numbers. And the reason why you want that is if you are, you say, want some sort of legend, a readout of all of these percentages. So let's just type in some numbers, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to then go to the source text. And I can link the source text to that number. Now it's going to automatically update. So that's pretty cool. But let's go ahead and delete that. And then style. So with the style, I can come in, I can turn off the inner edges, so those edges. I can turn off the outer stroke, turn them off both. I can change the stroke size. And stroke color. Also, let me go ahead and uh, change this scale back down to 100. Also, I have this center hole, which will create kind of more like a donut-shaped pie chart. Now I'm getting hungry. And then we have shading. So if you don't want it so flat looking, you can shade it, give it a little bit of a bevel, scale it from here as well, and rotate. So that's pie charts. And just like the bar graphs, pie charts is also can be 3D. And you can see it's a 3D pie chart. Pretty darn cool. Next up is tables. And tables was the one that got me started. This is the one where I was actually creating a table for a video. And I thought, you know what? There's got to be an easy way of doing this in After Effects. And there really wasn't. And so that's why I built this preset. So with tables, come in with the dimensions, how wide, how tall, how many columns, how many rows. Um, header, I can turn on and off if there's a header, if it's one column or multiple columns, and the size of the header. And then I can change colors on everything, the header, the row, so row one, row two, and the stroke. Also visibility, which is cool. I can make the header slightly transparent or all the way transparent. Um, same with the cells and then the stroke thickness. So as you can see, there's a lot of functionality and adjustability to this. So that is custom tables. Let's delete that. And then the last one, which is really a lot of fun, this is Venn diagrams. And so how Venn diagrams works is, of course, I can come in and change this color. But watch what happens when I change the color. Let's change this to green. And all right there, where they mix, automatically changes color, automatically changes. So pretty cool. Now I can come into the stroke, of course, change the stroke size, kind of stylize it the way you want. Now I can come into the size of each of these pieces, make them go bigger or smaller, and everything just kind of works the way you would expect it to. 
and then position. With position, I've got this auto spread where it'll automatically spread them out in equal distance from each other. But if I want to control exactly where they go, I've got these position points. So I come up here, I can grab these points and move these around. And look how cool that is. I can put these anywhere. So a lot of cool stuff you can do with Venn diagrams. So that is charts and graphs. Um, you just saw Venn diagrams, but we have bar graphs, line graphs, pie charts, tables, Venn diagrams, lots of fun stuff. I've actually used this several times on different personal projects and video work I've been doing since I've created the presets before I've released it, uh, just testing it out. And very, very handy. I use them all the time. Do lots of motion graphics um, and animated infographics, that kind of stuff, and very handy. So go get them. They're available at Cinema Spice. There's a link in the description. There's a link right here on the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.